had a strong black super chemist. This is what's going on in my city. This is part two. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, the factories that they built for the illegal aliens, they won't let any citizens work there. You know what I mean? Uh, they, they pay them less. Uh, and, and we would love to have being paid less uh, like the illegal aliens because that pays even more than McDonald's and uh, uh, Walmart. You know, why wouldn't I want a dollar raise and go work at a factory? Why wouldn't I want a three dollar raise and go from McDonald's and, and go there? You know what I mean? Uh, sure, I would, you know, I would want more than nine dollars an hour, but nine is still higher than what you, a lot of people around here make. They ain't turning the jobs down. They're not allowed to have them. And what's funny is, even though they have jobs, like they got right off of the bus, right? And they had a job instantaneously. They had a house instantaneously, a place to live instantaneously. Uh, they still give, they still get money from the government. And food stamps. <laughs> like what the hell? So, anyways, then they get that. They, they get the, then they get free rent on top of it. And since that you double, you triple the population, right? And these these six to eight thousand illegals that are in Charleroi, there's there's a lot more in the Mon Valley since we didn't get hit as bad as they did. You know what I mean? They didn't triple our population with illegal aliens. Uh, but yeah, they're dumping into all the cities surrounding this little tiny city. Anyways, so what happens when you triple the people, but you don't triple the houses? Whew. Rent, housing goes up. And let me ask you something. You got a citizen, right? And you're, you know, uh, in Charleroi, or even around here, really, where I'm at, right? Because I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm literally feet away from Charleroi. Uh, Let's say you got a citizen and they got a one to, a month to month lease, right? On their apartment or their house, or whatever they're renting or whatever, right? Why wouldn't you kick them out? I mean, most people aren't decent people. So what that's what they're doing. They're kicking you out if they can get away with it. So that they can get the illegal ones in there because they know that their rent is definitely gonna be paid because it's paid by the government, right? And it's, you know, they can charge triple. <laughs> they can charge triple for the illegal alien. So that's what they do. <laughs> if you had a year lease, they're trying to get you out. They're doing anything they can to get you out. These people are like, uh, uh, they have no, like, morals, man, at all, man. Uh, so you have Biden inflation, right? Then on top of that, you got the wrenches triple, right? In the Mon Valley. How are, how are these how are these citizens gonna they're, 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 and you got the person who you rent from, they want you out. And they you know what I mean? <clears throat> What's funny is if these these illegals, they don't work anywhere else. You don't see them in any stores, any nowhere. They only work at the NGO factories that they built. You know what I mean? That's like a, in that one state, they, Tyson Foods. They shut down like seven plants, you know, little mini plants, and they, which and fired all the citizens, right? And they, uh, they built a giant plant, a super plant, that was, all, that was basically as big as the six or seven plants they, little ones that they shut down, you know what I mean? And then they hired 52,000 illegal aliens. And 100% of their workforce is illegal aliens. So why, why, why do people not believe? You know, when, when it's like, that's proven. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, these people, like, in some of these cities, you got the immigrants taking over whole apartment complexes with guns, bigger guns than the army has, and... It's on video. People are videotaping it and putting it on video. Then they go to the city council and says, well, what are you going to do about it? And the city council, no, it's not happening. City council goes on to the, on to the news. No, it's not happening. They're lying. Like, what? What do you think? They're staging these people with guns? I mean, the mentality that people think that if you let 20 million people in, that 100% of them are going to be good people. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard of in my entire life.
I don't care what group you are. I don't care what color you are, what religion you are. I don't care if your group is the best group in the whole world. There's going to be a small percentage that suck, okay? That's just common sense. But anyway, so... So the illegal aliens are doing great, right? But what do you think the citizens are doing? These are little towns. This ain't like, what, you know... Uh, these stores or whatever, a lot of mom and pops, you know what I mean? What do you think's happening to those people? Their, their business is, they got a business. No one can come to their business now, right? Because now things are even worse because they got buy inflation and all, everyone's, tri every rent, everyone's rent just tripled, right? They don't got the money. The illegal aliens don't go into the, to their stores. And why don't they go into their stores? Because they give them money. Yeah. A second off of the bus. If they want to start a business, business, uh, yeah, the government gives the NGO the money, then the, money, the NGO gives the, the money to the illegal alien, and then he goes and he opens up a store. See, and as this, it's it's it's, it's like it's like happened right in front of my eyes. As the you know the, the citizens' business goes out of business, right? Because he can't he can't afford it. His rent, everyone's rent tripled. You know, hitting he and because of buy inflation and that tripling thing, no one's coming in to buy anything. The illegals don't. Then he he goes out. He's he lost his business, right? Bam! You know, here comes the illegal alien because they're giving them tons of money to open any business they want. The very next day, all the signs on the store are all some weird, you know, other different languages. Ain't none of it is in English, and the, and a lot of these stores. You go in, they're not even like I don't even know what I don't even know what stuff is that they have in it. Some of the stuff is like so weird that they sell. I don't even know how. It's like me going to the junkyard and I just I don't I just miscellaneously pick up garbage and put it in the store and, and sell it. I don't I don't I don't, I don't get it. But anyways, so some people are you know some people are either moving or they're getting homeless. That's what's happening. Because you can't, you just can't, uh, it's just too much. These people can't handle it. Like, what are poor people around here? We're not in the city making a lot of money. You know what I mean? Uh, so, yeah. It's, 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 it, it, it's just see everything being changed into another country. So It would be like if, if someone, can, you know, you have 4,000 people and 8,000 people from another country come, and they just start taking down all your signs, and putting up other English, uh, not English, and then they just move into your house, move into your business. That's what's happening. They're literally replacing this ta this entire town, like right in front of my eyes. And uh, you know, what do you think happens when it's at the schools? You think that they put the non-speaking, no English-speaking people in their own class? So that they can teach them, because you can't teach them anything until they learn English, right? So if you put them in the classrooms with the English people, the citizens, how are you going to, how is that, that's not going to work. Now you have no one, no one learning. You know, you put them in their own class where you're teaching them English, then they learn, right? And then the English people, uh, they don't get, you know, their teacher just goes along like they used to, right? Everybody wins. But they don't do that. No, they don't do that. They sprinkle them into every class so that every class has an even amount of non-speaking English people. Now, they can't even speak. They can't even teach the curriculum because they're taking their whole time teaching English, getting in translators. That sure is going to be, I don't, they're probably bankrupt right now. I mean, you're, uh, they have no money. Not for citizens, not for, you know. And then when they come in too, what they do is, you know, they put them into the homeless places and they put them into the schools and put them into any building that they can find that's abandoned. Or, you know, even if it's not abandoned, they'll just kick you the fuck out, right? Uh, what, what do you think happens with the, uh, like the veterans, the homeless people that have mental you know, conditions or stuff that, are, that have been lived in this country forever and they actually belong here? Yeah, they just kick them out. Those social programs they used to get, they just take them off of them and laugh at them, you know? Because they want these votes, okay? That's all. They, they don't care about the illegals. They don't care about the whatevers. They just want people in here so they can vote. But you got you got high schools, right? 
and, and, and these uh, whatever's whatever they want, middle and grade school. You got literally men in high schools and junior highs. That they're like twenty to twenty five, twenty five years old. There's actually one at least, probably two or three. They're like twenty eight, twenty nine years old in the high school. If I was twenty nine years old and I tried to go to the high school and say, "Yeah, I no," they'd say, "Go down to the go to, do the, the night school thing." You're a freaking grown man. You shouldn't be in a high school with little children. But right now they're trying to pass laws, okay? Because it wasn't. It's not good enough to take out the kick to make everyone homeless, okay? Or force them to move, right? It's not enough. It's not enough to take all their businesses, okay? And they haven't taken all the businesses yet. But you can see it. It's like, it's a gradual, <laughs> you know, just, you can see it turning into another country, right? Because all the signs don't speak English. Yeah, they're trying to pass laws right now to take down the, all the street signs and the, 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 the traffic signs. Take anyone that has, anything that has English on it, take it down and put another sign up in the predominant, you know, the Latin, because they don't, they speak 50 different freaking languages. But there is like 60% of them do speak one language. That's the language they want to put up. So at least, at least the 60% of the illegals can read it. 40% of the illegals can't read it because they, they, they speak 50 different languages. And they don't, I'm a citizen, I'm not going to be able to read it. <coughs> These rich people, because they're gonna pull out in all into the all into the poor neighborhood first. You pieces of shit from the middle class, and you pieces of shit from the goddamn rich people. What do you think's gonna happen with jobs now? How's that work? Because they can just keep coming more and more and more. It's disgusting. Just and, and they, people, half the country is like, no, it's not happening. It's not happening. Uh, yeah, it is happening. <laughs> uh, yeah. And there's probably a hundred other things I want to tell you about what's going on over there. And what's going on right here, right where I'm at, where I'm sitting. Uh, I've just been here for like two years telling you all the injustices. You know what I mean? I, I, <clears throat> and, you, 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 and what's funny is, they give you. They give them all driver's licenses, and I've heard in some states, uh, they're just. They don't. Uh, what are they doing? Uh, the, uh, yeah, yeah. You have both. Actually, you have both options. <laughs> you know, they, in, in, in this area right here, what they do is everyone that comes in, they give them a driver's license. No written test. No driver's test. No nothing. They just fill out a piece of paper. And there, and you can call the police. Call the fucking police department. Ask them. They'll tell you. They'll say that, that, that we just give them a thing, just like these other states. Just call the police departments of those places. They're putting up videos. The police will tell you. Yes, they don't. They don't need a license to drive. They can just. They don't need insurance. They don't need a plate. They don't need anything. There's we're nothing we can do about it. We were told not to do anything. So what does the city city government tell us? They say it's illegal. It's illegal for them to vote in the election. So don't worry about it. And then in the very next sentence, what do they say? Yeah, we gave everyone a driver's license, whether they wanted one or not. We registered every one of them. The NGO did. As they come in, they forced them to fill out. You know, they fill it out for them really, uh, and get registered. Okay, so they're all registered and they all have ID now. But don't worry, folks. Don't worry, citizens. It's against the law for them to go and vote. <laughs> so there's no problem, right? And if we say that sounds crazy, because obviously, why did you register them? And why did you give them a driver's license without giving them any test uh, if you didn't want them to vote? <laughs> <coughs> Half the country says, oh, they're making sense. That makes sense. Obviously, you, they're not going to vote because it's illegal. Right? <laughs> It just came into the country illegally. <laughs> but yeah, they didn't, they didn't care about not voting. <laughs>